Well, hello everyone, here I am with Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on the Z95 Headhunter and the Umbaran UMC. Yeah. Yeah. A heavy metal cannon from 2013. So, um, so, first off for the manual, one manual entry I have for the Z95 Headhunter here is have the Lego Star Wars logos and the uh, green Yoda border from the time, and picture of the set in action, uh, which flying off of Coruscant, and then, and then set number 75004. And also have a little how to use this brick separator, and also a mini fig kid uh, which separating the pieces and all. First time of their ever being in this. First year of that, that ever happening. And on, on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the piece, then ad for Lego Club, and advertisement of some of the other sets from the time or in the wave, of course. And then a little code to use for the website, which is no longer active, and all the pieces that come with the set. Yes. And then the last building steps. So first off, for the uh, Z95 Headhunter, we would have have the very original uh, 501st Trooper, which also came in the ATRT set in yeah ATRT set also in this wave. So at least good to kind of get for army building, and then. Next to which a 501st clone pilot, which I see for the, the with not at only like printing kind of strange for the time and in general, but whatever. However, the torso printing uh, quite good and also similar to previous clone pilots. But also the most unique part is this helmet piece, which just has the extended mouth part for that, uh, which kind of interesting how that is. Well, and also one that we've never seen in any other sets. Although, it would be nice if it could be used today. And then, last of which, the one exclusive, also exclusive to this set, is Pong Krell. Which, as you can see, does have the forearms and all. Well, and also, kind of all standing on a standard torso oh, piece of which. But, however, for all the sculpting, printing on it, all looks very good. Oh, it's very good for how it is. In this, but also assuming that he's probably the same species and race as as Dex from Episode 2 for that. Although, if there was to be a Dex figure, it would probably look almost like this. Or maybe just with the double arm piece like Rio Durant in 2018 kind of did. But whatever. And also, and of course, wielding the two double head lightsabers in both green and uh, blue for that. And also with both troopers do have the same exact uh, clone face like we've been seeing at this time and beyond. And then the back sides of them uh, with very slight back torso printing on all of them and very little yeah very little uh, on Pong of course. So, so I guess that is about it with this fig selection. And now on to the Umbaran UNC. First up is Ahsoka Tano, well, well, later version of her, which, however, the face printing and the Laku. Oh, hang on. Yeah, the face printing and the Laku. It was, it was quite the same as it's been since 2008-9, or just 2008. But how are the whole torso printing, leg printing, of which all new it looks very good for that, and still wielding the green lightsaber, of course. And then in the center have the first versions of the uh, two twelfth troopers, but uh, what's kind of mysterious is that this is in yellow rather than orange. 
which unlike with the recent ones that came in the uh, 2022 ATTE, which did have the orange prints for that. Well, this was probably a much earlier one that there was, and they weren't aware of orange being on them. But then, of course, they fixed that eventually in the end. So, and also, and of course, same exact clone face on the And then last of which are what you're looking at. One, but is also contains two Umbaran uh, soldiers for that. Like how are the torso printing, which looks quite good and also does have that uh, motorcycle uh, helmet kind of piece with the visor on it. But if you like, take that off. Oh, whoops. Yeah, take that off. And do you have the lavender uh, uh, head piece with the also quite good face printing for, for how that is. But not sure why they use this helmet piece for that, which if you look at how it is in the show, they look more like air dome type helmets. Well, with the recent air dome pieces used on the Mysterio minifigs, I think would work out a lot better if this was remade. But yeah. And then on the back sides of each of them, all of which do have some good back torso printing. I think, well, kind of good for the time, but whereas for the 212 Trooper, kind of and barely much holds up nowadays, but yeah. And of course, not having the side helmet holes. But yeah, so this is kind of when they went away from that. And that is about it with the mini fix selections. So, first off for the builds is the Z95 Headhunter. Which, from first glance, kind of fit a quite interesting, unique ship that we never got to see any uh, versions of either previously or after. Or actually, never seen any remakes of. And although the build of which kind of similar to that of the next wing, but just without the X foils and so on. Like starting out with the head nose part, which is just a pair of uh, long curved slopes, of which, and of course, there's a lot of dark red in this set. So, although the dark red could kind of crack off a bit, just like dark brown and lime green. So, if you get this set either brand new or used, well, be aware of that. But however, and it does have the, and you wonder what these uh, two little curved. Uh, wedge plates on there, uh, which are most likely for what uh, science calls canards, just extra wings that would keep extra lift while flying. And the rest of which, which is just a large curved slope uh, that is in dark red, and also a little bit is not with the other kind, but in white for that. And, and then onto the center cockpit section, which has the kind of similar ones to which, like some other speeders attended to have, with and also, and of course plenty of snot going on with the uh, uh, wedge plates and curved plates around it, and you can like lift it up, and do have just a couple tiles, but and it also, which provides enough room to sit a mini fig into without getting stuck onto any studs onto there. So this is probably the time when they approved on that. And, and also does have and also a little tile piece with a sticker on it for the control panel for that and closes over very well. And then the center part of which which does have a, a hinge kind of piece in, around it to make it a little more finished for that. But also large gaps in there, but it's the best that they could do. Yeah. And as for these wing parts, which which are just the large curved slope or wedge plates, and also little tiles all over it to make it less studded for that, and also hold it together as well. And then also these uh, Technic bits that are in dark red with a, a lightsaber bar piece and a dish piece on it to represent 
to be used as blaster parts of it. But if this set were made nowadays, I think probably still have that, but also with probably stud shooters on the side or or just spring load launchers either on top or actually underneath the wing part. Well, just a thought. Well, probably just stud shooters for that. But yeah. So, and as for this, and back to the center uh, part of it, you see you have the same exact canopy piece like we see in the front part, but in plain white, like we kind of saw on the Freco Speeder in 2010, but, uh, but also has a large sticker over it, but can flip that open and have this thing, a little section that's made of very few pieces, which is just to hold the trooper blasters and binocular kind of piece onto it. And just rests in there. And if you wonder what that technic rock bit is for, well, which I'll show in a, in a minute, but yeah. And as for the back section, which is just some of these uh, a corner kind of uh, wedge pieces there, and also a grill piece and various bits acting as various greebling, of course. And also, and also back to the wings is does and like the X wing and such does out these is, uh, like little cylinder kind of pieces is, and other kinds of ones that go right downwards and one with a sticker on it. And, record, and back to the engine parts of it, which are those Technic gear pieces, although which in Bionicle have been used for as like a game dial and also in tread parts, also in some Technic sets, of course. And, and go into these uh, little cone kind of pieces and little dish parts as well. Then, oh, whoops. then underneath the witch, are, have the three landing gear parts, like one of which kind of close to that of most X wings. You can like fold right upwards, like so. And the back parts of which kind of the same, but backwards. And also to note is, and you wonder what this Technic bit is for, where you can pull down, and then there's the old spring loaded, uh, or the old spring loaded launcher on there, but need the missile to add into there. So, you can pull down and it launches. So, that section that I showed earlier, that the G slope is what makes it launch for that. So, now that is valid it with the Z95 Headhunter. Okay. And now, on to the Umbaran UMC. Uh, hang on a sec. And what the, or actually I meant MHC heavy or mobile heavy cannon. That's it. So sorry if I mispronounced it at the start of this review, but however, but look, but whatever. But however, also an interesting one that we've didn't never got to see any remakes of, but whatever. But however, and of course, neat build where it has the six symmetric legs, and also because if you're a large symmetry person like I am, then this clown well works for you. So now, like as for the legs, and also workable is the well is the Z95 Hunt Hunter also perfect symmetry. But yeah, it's like as for these legs here, which as you see. Oh, which the same build six times for that, which of course quite annoying if you like for the times six part for that. So all of which do have a few nice bits to them, like the dish pieces on the sides of the feet, and so I have three points of movement, like swivel and this foot part, and then the knee part, which is just ratcheted joint, and then top part, which just swivels for that. But like this center section, which is just plates together, and also a couple of car hood parts to be smoothed out parts of it. And then the top part of it with that odd slope on there, and one of those technic bits connecting to the main body part. 
And so now on to the main body part section of it is where it has these uh, three black studs represented as lights then. And then underneath is a couple of blasters on it, which you can actually take out and use for the um, Baron soldiers, of course. And then this upper section, which is comprised of mostly this large dome piece on the uh, on a 4x4 plate with the whole part in the center where you can flip right open and does have plenty of extra root and you like which comprise of like a couple tile pieces acting as the uh, little buttons and such and a couple slope or a few uh, tiles of which and enough room to sit your umbrella trooper on also should lift right up when you do so and then closes right over like so. You can see very little bit out there, but yeah. And then as for the rest of which, with which these main two parts, which are the uh, long, kind of those longish jagged slopes, oops, but with large stickers on them, and a few corner plates around with a tile piece, also with a sticker with the separatist symbol on there. And, and then on one side of which, which is kind of the same bit features to it, but also with the two different grill pieces acting at it's like venting, which you can flip open, and then enough room to fit your other Umbaran Trooper into like so, and to kind of man the cannon. And then last of which, for the cannon on top which is kind of in two uh, points of, of movement to it and does have those large uh, plate or wedge like plates on there with the sticker on them and uh, asteroid droid head pieces acting as extra grief bling. You have very little bit of snot in this kind of back section with the jacket slope there and also like the Z95 headhunter one of the sets to use this uh, cannon piece for that which you can load the missile into and launch it off like so. So of course this year, 2015, one of the last years to see uh, this cannon piece used in sets. And then also how you can like, as you can like man it either on the top part for that or with this Technic bit down below for that. So you kind of have two spots to control it of course. So of course this a good nice feature for that. So for my overall verdict is Overall, I think these of which are uh, quite good sets or great sets, like both for the time, like for the time, and they still well hold up till today. And also a couple of neat builds that we never got to see any remakes of. Well, like if these were both remade nowadays, I would expect them to be probably about this much good. But also with like spring loaded launchers and stud shooters, well, on both of them, but yeah and the minifig selections, which are both quite good for how they are. Like, obviously. Like, of course, the Umbaran Soldiers and the Clone Pilot and Pong, of course. Although he, which does give a slight bit of hope for if possibly there could be in a, a minifig of Dex, possibly. And, so, and if you're watching this, LEGO, please make a minifig of Dex and make a set of Dex's Diner for that. Well, since, of course, Pong here is kind of a good referencing point for that, but yeah. And although for the Umbaran MHC, well, I would say kind of an interesting, quite neat build for how it is, like, plenty of good playability to that, or otherwise to both of these sets. And so, and like, of course, the Z95, which does have plenty of good swooshability and so on. And of course, for the price points that they were of like around 40 each at the time, well, regardless of inflation being about 
like 56 or so today but otherwise still kind of good for how it is for how they were and I, and yeah and also kind of odd how the uh, 212 trooper had yellow instead of orange but even though it was kind of sign of the times where they like barely where they kind of missed a lot of things but yeah and so now if you're looking to get these sets or I mean if you still have these sets from back in the day well I hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who are still looking to get these sets I'd say definitely pick them up eBay Bricklink, Mercari, Bricks and Minifigs, whatever and that's about definitely pick them up and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching